Well, today we got to talk about Nintendo Switch 2 again, and I, I'm, I'm going to be quite frank with you guys. This isn't a topic that I enjoy talking about this much. It's been a prevalent topic on the channel now going on for the last few weeks, and frankly, I'm ready to talk about something else, but what happens in the world of uh, rumors and reports and leaks is once the they sort of begin again, and we had a break for a little bit, and now they've, they've they're just back and they're stronger than ever. The floodgates open, and this is something that's very common the closer and closer you get to something actually being revealed. And this time we have some potential new information coming out of the manufacturing side that kind of gives us an idea of what to expect for this new system and what to look towards being different about this system in comparison to the original Switch. Now, all of this information comes from a YouTuber called AK Tech Studio, and it's a YouTuber out of China. So we're going with the closed caption English translation that YouTube provides for this channel. And we're going to give you some exact quotes uh, Why we're listening to this person. And they're a fairly large channel, over 400,000 subscribers, is because they have a friend in manufacturing and they have been correct on things they've talked about in the past. So in digging through other things that have been, uh, you know, tied to them, we've seen leaks from, you know, things like Samsung and Apple and uh, PlayStation and yes, even some Nintendo things in the past. So there are some things that we could sort of connect the dots to here to point to this person being in the know. Now his latest video uploaded today doesn't necessarily have anything to do dealing with next generation stuff at least that's what you figure because today's video was about tearing down a joy con talking about joy con drift the causes of it how to manually fix it but here's the thing he actually at the very beginning decided to reveal some information from his own personal source of course take all of this with a grain of salt we've heard stuff like this from other places but we haven't heard stuff in this exact detail, and it might be new to you. It might be expected. I don't know. But let's dive into the exact quotes according to Google's own closed caption system. I have a friend who has seen the real machine, the Nintendo Switch 2, in the supply chain. According to him, the performance improvement and resolution improvement reported online is true. But it's inconvenient for me to go into specifics. The innovation, however, in the new Switch is the Joy-Con. They will be adding new types of gameplay. I have only heard about this and have been unable to confirm it, but there is some new hardware that has been added to the handle, and there will be a new way of interaction and operation. But that isn't really the point of this specific video. Please wait for news of the new Switch, which will be officially released soon. When that information comes out, you can then see if I was right. I feel strongly the next generation of Joy-Con will have a big innovation. Now, look, he doesn't tell us what that innovation is going to be. Something in the handle of the Joy-Con. So, I mean, that, that could be anything, right? Like We have an IR sensor in, in one of the handles as an example on the last one maybe there'll be something else hd rumble was supposed to be this revolutionary thing that nintendo really underutilizes but is cool the few times it is used not as good as like a dual sense you know the, the rumble features in this are just top tier but at the time hd rumble was basically the best rumble on the market and maybe nintendo is going to be advancing the rumble features to be more like the playstation dual shot controller maybe they're going to do some of their own stuff maybe there's going to be i don't know i mean the ir camera was sort of a dud so i don't really know what they were putting into it but i am very interested i'm also interested if the old joy con are cross compatible with the new system in case people prefer the old joy con uh there's other improvements we want to see in the controllers i mean biggest thing is obviously give us new sticks give us the you know the the hall sensing control sticks so we get rid of drift and his video is about drift so it's kind of it'd be kind of neat i guess i get why he brought it up because if the if the big innovation he's hearing about are in the joy cons then he you know he hey you know like he's doing a video on joy con repair it makes sense to maybe bring it up. I also uh, found really interesting that he's claiming that the new system will be officially revealed soon. Now, when Nintendo says soon, that could be a year from now, right? Like Nintendo is very much a, hey, when we say soon, 
you know, our launch window is anywhere from three to six months. I mean, that's a really big launch window. Most people consider a launch window to be like a week. But uh, I, I find it interesting because this isn't someone who works at Nintendo. It's a content creator with some connections. And he's saying it's going to be officially revealed soon, which to me, when you look at it being the end of July right now, you're thinking soon is sometime this year that it's going to be unveiled. Now, uh, I have been of mind that they're not going to unveil the system this year, even if it was coming early next year. There is a roadmap to unveil a new system in 2023 for an early 2024 release that could exist that won't hurt Nintendo's holidays. And included in that roadmap would have to be price cuts to the system. I think if you price cut them to just the right price while also releasing games like Mario Wonder and Super Mario RPG and stuff, you could still see a really, really good sales period over the holiday, even though revenue would obviously be down. But that's because people would be hyped up and saving for that new system to launch this winter. Plus, game sale-wise wouldn't be hurt anyways. Mario Wonder is still going to sell incredible because, hey, there's already 130 million Nintendo Switches out there. Like, There's already a consumer base hungry for software. We can see that with the sales of Pikmin 4, which are like, <laughs> let's put it this way. The debut sales of Pikmin 4 in Japan are higher than the combined debut sales of Pikmin 1, 2, and 3 put together. That's how incredible the launch of Pikmin 4 is. Pikmin 4 might end up being a 4 or 5 million seller when it's all said and done. And that's Kirby in the Forgotten Land territory for an IP that's never sold more than 2.5 million units. That would be double the best it's ever done. And that was a re-release on Wii U and Pikmin 3 Deluxe. So, yeah, we're hungry for software. We obviously know how incredibly well Zelda is. And guess what? In, like, a little bit less than five days right now, we're going to find out all the sales updates. We're probably going to get the official confirmation of 130 million Nintendo Switches sold. We're going to get all the official Zelda numbers. We're going to get all the official updates on... Uh, pretty much everything. Pikmin will be the one that we don't because Pikmin's in the new fiscal quarter. So this will be fiscal quarter ending in June. But man, I am, I'm just really, really happy that this person is saying revealed this year because I got to be honest, I started this video by saying I'm sort of tired of talking about this damn thing because it's getting old. It's getting repetitive. It, I, I'm trying to keep all of you guys up to date on every source that's out there, all the various information. And while I could argue that this person from China doesn't really necessarily give us any new information, like it doesn't give us a specific feature for the Joy-Con. It doesn't really say anything about, you know, hey, we're just saying that, you know, what's already been reported out there is true. Okay, so it's going to have DLSS. It's going to be able to output at 4K, etc. Like... I, I just sit back and I go, okay, what I'm more interested in is when this thing is being revealed. And to me, out of everything he said, the official information being revealed soon is the one that I pay most attention to because there hasn't really been a lot of indications of when this thing is going to be revealed. We've had indications of potential release, right? Like, oh, it could release in the first quarter of 2024. It also could be holiday 2024. It could be the middle of 20. All indications are sometime in 2024. So team 2023 is probably looking like a dud. But also, would Nintendo dare to unveil this thing? We do have Gamescom coming up at the end of August. We have Nintendo Live coming up. These could be events they want to push new hardware at, or at least advertise the new hardware. But why? When the new hardware still won't come out for five or six months. But then again, that would be right in line with the Nintendo Switch. It was announced in October of you know 2020, uh, you know, I'm sorry, 2016, and it came out in March of 2017, about five to six months later. It's interesting thinking about that window and going, huh, if they announced it in August and then five to six months later, I mean, you're starting to look at, hey, this thing's coming in January or February. It might not be a March release. So I'm, I'm just going to sit back and see how things play out at this point. I don't know that I'm going to talk that much about Switch 2 barring some major report coming out from Bloomberg or uh, Jeff Grubb or, or, or someone like super reliable and in the know moving forward. I, I think at this point we have a good idea of what all the rumors out there are saying, right? This thing's going to be pretty powerful. Somewhere between a PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 4 Pro seems to be the current expectations on its power. There's going to be changes to the controller, so we're not going to get the same old Joy-Con. There's going to be some sort of gimmicky thing like we got with the IR sensor, but it sounds like it'll still be pretty much traditional controls 
which will be nice to have again for another generation in a row. It's still going to be a hybrid uh, console, so it's going to still be docked and taken with you. Uh, we're going to get it at some point in 2024. There's a possibility of it being winter of 2024. The earliest possibility we got from that was actually a Pokemon leak that suggested that one of the updates coming up to Scarlet and Violet was going to include a graphics enhancement for a brand new Switch, and that update is supposed to land sometime this winter. Winter is technically early 2024 so that lines up with the quarter one 2024 stuff now we have this person from china saying hey this thing's going to be officially unveiled soon soon in terms of most people usually means within you know one to three months when it comes to something being unveiled so this thing could be honestly unveiled in august and that sort of gives us a timetable of what to expect and now we just have to let things play out. It either is unveiled this year or it's not. It either comes out early next year or it doesn't. And that's that. So I'm just going to walk away from this, washing my hands, sort of done talking about Switch 2. I read your comments every day. I know some of you are kind of tired of this as well. You're not blaming me. It's just what's out there. And I, I try to stay as up to date on Nintendo's new hardware as we can. And I think this is the last little tidbit to throw out there, barring some sort of massive new information coming out from an extremely reputable place. So we're good. Consider this my last Switch 2 video, I guess until the next one, which should be based on a lot more reputable information or might even be just Nintendo announcing the damn thing. So thank you so much for being here and I'll catch you guys in the next video.